Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to make Christmas crack. Some of you may not know what that is. Some of you probably do, maybe you shouldn't know. But this is just a quick, easy candy that I do at Christmas time. I'm doing my normal, original Christmas crack with the graham crackers. I've also done one with peanut butter. You can look down in the description below. I'll put a link to it there. Um, you can change it up. You can even use white chocolate. But this is just my normal recipe that I think has had over a million hits on my website. And I'll put a link to it there so you can print out the recipe. But we're going to use a whole cup of butter. And we're going to melt that. And you want to do it in a heavy bottom pan. Anytime you do candy of any kind, always use a heavy body, bottom, heavy bottom pan. That way it doesn't scorch and burn. I'm going to also top it with some toffee chips. You can change it up. You can put Christmas sprinkles on it. You could put um, pecans on it, crushed walnuts, um, coconut. I've seen them do all kinds of different things. So just make it however you like and make it what your family likes. Change it around a little bit. You can make the same recipe three ways and they'll never know. But to this cup of butter, I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar packed in here. And these are, this is a quarter cup. So I'm gonna need four of these. Maybe a little bit extra brown sugar, never hurt. And this is gonna make the syrup and caramely substance that's going to coat between the graham crackers and the um, chocolate. Let me move this over here out of the way. Let me get a whisk. And we're gonna to wanna to watch this. You do not want this to scorch. And once it comes to a boil, we're gonna let it boil for three minutes. And I got brown sugar everywhere. We'll time it and cook it for three minutes and then place it over our graham crackers. Now, some people have made this. I think I originally saw this with saltine crackers. It was good, I did it that way. And then when I started to make it the next time, my granddaughter, Chloe, who's now 17, I feel so old. Oh my gosh. Um, she said, let's do it with graham crackers, Papa. And so we was at the store and she grabbed some honey grams and it takes 20 of these. And what really surprised me today is usually it takes two. They usually have two of these. So there's 20, 10 in each. These only have nine in them now. They've, I mean, the prices went up a little bit, but they've actually shorted us three graham crackers in this because if packet used to have 10 now it only has nine and they're getting a little bit thinner because i had to go and put an extra row of broken ones down the side here so just another example of how everything's changing and getting more expensive so now this is starting to melt i feel like i'm making caramels you guys hear me talk about caramels all the time my grandma blanches caramels but at christmas time that's the only thing i can think of and mom just did a video on them. I can, uh, I don't know. I make them. They just never taste as good as grandma, my great grandmother's. So I just let mom make them. And then she sends them to me and freezes them and sends them. And then I have them to nibble on all year. I've already eaten them all up, so I have none right now. But I know she's got some in her freezer. Okay, so this is just about dissolved. The butter's almost down. If I'd used room temperature butter, it would have done a lot quicker. Let me wrap up this graham crackers. I'll just save these and I'm gonna do a cheesecake later this week, so I'll save these to put in the crust. Oops, get the air out of there. And put these away. this up just a little bit. I've got it about eight. My gauge goes from low to two, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and high. Just make sure you're constantly stirring it. Like I said, once it comes to a boil, we're going to boil it for three, exactly three minutes and then we can pour it over here. Let me get a good spatula that's not going to burn. I'm just going to use my big one here. Well, yeah, better use this one. Because you want to spread this out evenly. And then once we put the caramel, I call it caramel sauce, on top of the graham crackers, we're going to put it in the oven and we're going to bake it for about 12 to 13 minutes. 
and it's going to bubble up and get nice and gooey and delicious. But then we'll take it out and I think we're getting some bubbles started here. We'll take it out, spread our chocolate chips on it and let them melt. I probably will pop it back in the oven to help the chocolate melt a little quicker and then put our heath bars on top or heat bits on top. Okay, so I've got a slow boil here. I want to get a little bit faster. And we're going to stir the entire time. Okay. I did not scorch it. I'm very happy about that. Now, we're going to add in a pinch of salt. I use salted butter. Usually I put a teaspoon of salt in, but since I use salted butter, I'm just gonna put a pinch in. And then we're gonna put about a teaspoon of vanilla. It will bubble up when you put this vanilla in. So don't be shocked. You can hear it going there. Woo! Got me a vanilla facial. Now we're gonna quickly just pour this right over top of our graham crackers. Try to get as evenly as you can this way so you don't have to spread it as much with the spatula. Okay. This over out of the way and use a heat proof silicone spatula and just try to spread this out as evenly as you can. It's going to thin and thick, spread out even more in the oven. So just bring it to the edges. Make sure your pan either has some kind of silk pat, silicone mat, or you can line it with uh, there. some tin foil even, aluminum foil. That would be good. We're just gonna spread this as evenly as we can. And it is setting up. This would probably be a whole lot easier if I had my offset spatula, but I cannot find my offset spatula. So I guess I'll be going to Amazon and ordering me a new one. But this works. Okay. And while I was stirring this and it was boiling, my oven went off. It's preheated. It's at 325. So like I said, we're going to put this in the oven for 12 to 13 minutes. Get back in there. And let it get all nice and bubbly. Whoops, we'll just save that for the cook. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. You don't wanna watch it, you don't want it to burn. So I'm gonna set it for 10 minutes and check it and then go an extra three minutes if it's not burning. And while that's cook, doing that, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go clean up my mess and enjoy this. Okay, so we got about 30 seconds left, a little less than 30 seconds. I think I told you 325, it's 350 degrees. If you check it at about 10 minutes and they're starting to burn a little bit, take them out, decrease your oven to 325, and then you can put it in for another three to five minutes. So I, I didn't have to, mine weren't burning. So I'm actually cooking these for about 15 minutes. And I just checked on them, they're nice and bubbly. And a timer, turn it off. And I'm gonna turn off the oven now, even though I'm gonna put these back in for about five minutes. So let me get these out. Try to do this without getting the caramel all over my hot pads. There you can see it's all nice and bubbly. And now, move this over a little bit so I can work. I'm just gonna sprinkle this with about a cup, maybe a little bit more of chocolate chips. Try to get it pretty even, so it'll be easier for you to spread them around. Oops, my chips don't wanna come out. 
and they're just sinking right down in that molten sugary caramely mess. It's so good. That's why we call it crack. I don't know why some of these, I had two bags of chocolate chips I put in here. I guess when they get a little bit older, they start getting a little brownish color instead of the chocolatey color. But I just wanna make sure this is all nice and covered. So I'm sure this is more than a cup. Here we go. Probably about a cup and a half. I keep staying here, I'll just keep filling it. I need to quit, because this will spread, Greg. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop it back in the oven. The oven's off, it's still hot. So I'm gonna put it in there for about five minutes just to get those chocolate chips to melt. Ah, whew, hot, 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 hot. And we'll get a spatula here. And we're just gonna spread the chocolate. Whew, nice and bubbly. Hey y'all, sorry, I don't know what happened to my camera. I took it out of the oven and started spreading the chocolate and looked up and saw that the light was not on on my iPad. So I let it bake for about five, or five minutes and um, I think I told you I did it at 350 and now I'm just spreading the chocolate out. Trying to get this done quick because it's cooling quick. There we go. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the top with some of these, man, this smells good. <laughs> with my Heath Crunch, you could use mini M&Ms. Like I said, you could use uh, coconut, Christmas sprinkles, white chocolate chips, anything you want. I just like the crunch that this gives it. So we're gonna let this cool for probably about an hour and then I will bring you back and show you what it's like as I break it. All right, I'm gonna get a spoon or actually let me get a spatula. I don't see another spatula, I've used them all. I'll use this one. I'm just gonna push those down into the chocolate. That way they don't all pop off as I'm breaking it. Okay, so we'll see you back here as soon as this all sets up. See you soon. Okay, y'all, we're back and my Christmas crack has set up. See some of them toffee pieces just didn't set. So I'm just gonna break this up. I'm gonna just use my bench scraper and get it started here. And I get, you see, just breaks up in small pieces. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mm. I like the graham crackers down at the bottom as the lower part and the toffee around it from the um, brown sugar and butter. I just like the flavor better than the saltines. And I think it gives a little bit more flavor. But you can literally just, well, Maybe not, but yeah, just pick it up like this and just start breaking the pieces and break it in whatever sizes you like, what you're going to eat. It's very rich, so you're not going to want humongous pieces. So this is my Christmas crack. I'll go ahead and finish breaking it up. I'm going to put it in small containers because it's going to work. There's no way I'm keeping this here. I will sit here and eat this whole thing. The caramel, the graham cracker, the chocolate, toffee. Those are all my favorites. By the way, let me wipe off my hands. Somebody asked me 
if I have a whiskey bottle in my refrigerator, yes, I do. But if you look at it, a friend of mine that worked with me, she painted this on the back for me last year because I like the Grinch. It's just 2020 stink, stank, stunk. 2020 did. 2021, I don't know if it's got much better. I'm gonna put that up there. I'm hoping and thinking it does and wishing it is. But give this Christmas crack a try. I'm sorry if I have chocolate in my teeth. <clears throat> Tastes good. I'll put the recipe down below and I'll also um, put it at gregs-kitchen.com. For those of you watching this on TV, right up here is a QR code. Just point your phone at it or your tablet and like you're gonna take a picture of it and a little uh, thing will pop up. I think it's yellow, it says, do you wanna open this? It'll take you straight to my website where you can print this out yourself. Um, share with your friends. Don't forget to give this video a, a thumbs up, a like. It really helps us a lot. I just surpassed 3,000 people subscribed to my channel. I love you all. I feel so blessed that you guys are following me and mom. Mom's having a ball doing these. Like I said, we're gonna try to do a, a recipe every day until Christmas and then have a big surprise maybe right at Christmas time for you. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Some people said that they weren't subscribed anymore and thought that I unsubscribed them. I did not. I found myself unsubscribed from a few people. I actually was unsubscribed from Miss Lori over at Whipper Will Holler. I would never unsubscribe from her. Some reason YouTube, and you can Google it, is there's something messed up and it is unsubscribing people if you're not going in watching videos or maybe talk, giving a uh, comment or like, I don't know what it is, I have no idea, but people are coming up unsubscribed to many channels, it's happened to me. So have a great Christmas, enjoy yourself. I hope you like these recipes. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I am trying to get to everybody's comments. I've got so many of you now, I love it, and I am going to take my time. If I go through and just give you a heart, at least you know I read it. Uh, otherwise, I'll leave you a comment as well. Take care, love you, and have a good day.